Hello, how are you doing today? It's Jessica Joy. I'm a personal trainer, pre and postnatal fitness specialist. I'm a mom and I help moms do three things. I help them flatten their tummies, end emotional eating and release weight for good. And welcome to day two of the Healthy, Hot and Happy live video series. This is week one, it's a three week series, and week one's all about how to flatten your tummy without losing any weight, okay? So I'm teaching you how to use your core differently to get tummy flattening results, especially if you're a mom with mommy tummy and you've had kids, I've been there, it's like your tummy poofs out after having babies and I'm here to support you and getting it all, you know, feeling really good and back together again. So, I'm so happy you are here. Christina, I'm sending you a big hug. Oh, I miss you. Like, imagine we're hugging here now. Uh, so, today I'm sharing three of the best tummy flattening exercises and then how to do them correctly so that you get the result that you want because there's a way to do tummy flattening exercises the wrong way and get zero results, which ain't eh, eh, not, not what we want. So that's why I'm doing this video. Uh, it's more powerful than just giving you some exercises. It's going to show you how to do them the right way. So I'm going to walk you through that today. Uh, please say hi if you are here. If you're on the replay, say hello. Uh, give me your favorite emoji. I love seeing like weird random ones. Did you know there's a T-Rex emoji? It's adorable. So uh, let's see. So do you ever, I have a question for you. Do you ever, you know, do certain exercises in efforts to shape a certain part of your body without getting any results? So for example, you're like, oh, I'm gonna do these booty exercises so that I can like make my booty look better and then you're not getting any results. Or maybe it's like lose the love handle exercises, tone your arm exercises, whatever it is. If you've had an experience where you're trying to shape a certain part of your body and you're not getting results, like tummy flattening, put a one or a yes in the box, okay? So, there is a way to do exercises and not get results. So I'm going to give you an example. There was a challenge I saw uh, about a year ago from like a really big influencer. And she was like, okay, I want to, you know, make my booty look better. And so she committed to doing 100 squats every day for 30 days. And then she did a before and after video of how that looked. And it was all body weight. Um, and she got a lot of people moving and it was great. But she got zero results like she showed her butt like before and after and she's like well uh that didn't work you know um and so i wanted to tell you why and what's super important if you are trying to shape your body in a different way there's three factors uh that need to be incorporated into this process so number one i want you to type this into the box even if you're on the replay is activate the right muscles okay so for example with this booty um like 30 day challenge she did um a lot of times if you're doing squats you're using more of your quads it's called being quad dominant our quads can be very bossy and take over for our glutes so if you're not engaging a certain muscle you're not going to strengthen it either okay so you need to activate the right muscles. Number two is maximize muscle recruitment. So this is really focusing on the muscle you're using to engage it as much as possible. And you can go from 50% muscle recruitment to 100% just by mentally engaging it more, okay? So <clears throat> this is kind of like going through the motions, versus like, okay, I'm really thinking about it. So when you're doing like a booty day, they often say, put your brain in your butt. So it's like your brain is thinking of your butt muscles, your glute muscles working. So that's gonna recruit more of the muscles. There's so many fibers in there and you wanna get them really fired up, okay? So um, type that in the box, maximize, muscle recruitment okay so because if you're going to do the exercises you're doing them for a purpose you are worthy of getting the result that you want okay and this applies to all of all types of you know strengthening exercises especially what we're i'm going to teach you today 
Lastly, number three, I want you to type this in the box. Even if you're on the replay, it helps you like cement the knowledge. Like this is for you to remember. It's like, oh yeah, like, okay. Like, so steadily increase the challenge. So this means every week or two, you're gonna be progressing that exercise. So that can be a few different ways. Obviously you can add some resistance or add some weight. You can also um, increase the range of motion, so make it bigger or deeper, and you can also increase the reps, okay? Or you could add something like a booty band or some other little variable um, that gets you progressing so that you don't like get somewhere and then plateau and that's all the progress you get. You wanna keep increasing that. So steadily increase the challenge. So all three factors of these, hello, Marsha, mwah. So all three factors of these I incorporate into uh, my diastasis recti program, and I also incorporate it into my upcoming Healthy, Hot, and Happy Mom uh, six-week program that starts April 29th. So part of that is <clears throat> having some workouts that you do throughout the week, and these tummy flattening routines are just nicely incorporated into those. Okay, along with just the workouts you're doing, like you can't get that. I haven't seen that anywhere else where it's like within your workout, you're also flattening your tummy. Oh no, my dog, my dog's coming. Oh no. <laughs> and doggy number two. Oh gosh, right on my yoga mat. Okay, these are my dogs. They're super awesome. Big sweethearts. We've had them since before the kids. Well, we got trigger like when Jet was a baby, but Dakota, like she's 11 years old. So they're part of the fam and she loves stealing my yoga mat. <laughs> oh, live video, so fun. Alrighty, so <clears throat> that's all in the program. So if you are interested in that, uh, I'll put a link here, but you can also go to my website, jessicajoylife.com, go to programs and you'll see it and sign up for the wait list. All it's going to do is notify you uh, about when enrollment is open. Okay, so you're not signing up for anything other than notifications about the program, okay? And it comes with, you know, how to end emotional eating, it comes with live coaching calls, it comes with a ton of stuff, uh, along with like releasing weight for good. So, <clears throat> go there, and then we'll get into these exercises. Okay, so, how to do diastasis recti moves correctly, which are also flat tummy exercises correctly. So first, the most important thing is that you engage your transverse abdominal muscles first. So we talked about this yesterday about how do you engage your transverse abdominal muscles. Those are your deepest layer of your core muscles. And if you weren't on yesterday's video, that's totally okay. I'm gonna go over it really quickly right now. But you take a nice relaxed inhale, and then you're gonna exhale in a sound, and exhale all the way down, and toward the end, when you're almost out of air, you're gonna feel around at your core, and it's gonna be tight. Those are your TA muscles, okay? And if you do more of a shh, like you can start really loud to like get the hang of it. Uh, we want to be teaching you how to recruit those TAs, they call them TA muscles, okay? That's what's gonna get you the tummy flattening results that you want, or that's one of the biggest factors, okay? So before we do any of the exercises, you're going to engage those muscles first, then do the exercise. So for example, like a leg lift, here's your legs, <laughs> here's your legs, right? And you're going to take your inhale, exhale, engage the TAs, lift the leg and down, okay? So it's the whole time those TAs are engaged and then when you lift the leg, it's adding just a little bit more resistance so they have to work a little bit harder and then down. And then it's an inhale, activate the TAs, lift and down. Okay, it's a different, it's a slower pace than normal. Normal exercise, you can say, um, and that used to like, make me not wanna do it. I'm like, that's not gonna do any good for my body, but I promise you, that is how you flatten your tummy. Like, it feels like it's too easy of an exercise, and it's not. Like, it's engaging these deeper muscles, uh, and I'm so excited to show you. So, I'm gonna go meet you at my mat here. I have this nice setup. And <clears throat> teach you how to do these. All right. 
So I'm going to show the exercise. There's three exercises, like I promised. Uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like when you're engaged, your TAs are engaged and when they're not. Okay, so we're going to start out on the floor with a leg lift variation. If you have diastasis recti, you always want to be lowering to, from your side. So you can kind of use your top arm and then roll over. Okay, so a leg lift variation. I want you to extend the leg here. Um, so if I was going to do, so we're going to be doing this exercise. Right now my TAs aren't engaged at all, so I'm going to do any good for flattening my tummy. Okay, and now I'm going to engage my TAs. <sighs> lift. Holy moly, I'm feeling that one. And down. And then I take my inhale. Inhale nice and relax, and then engage the TAs, lift the leg, and down. And that's one rep, okay? So that's the difference there. So let's go ahead and do that together. If you are at all in a position to do the exercise, you will just learn so much faster by just doing it now. If you can't do it now, then come back later. Um, you're going to get a full workout by the end of this, okay? So extending the leg, inhale, and then exhale. You can do the sound to engage the TAs. Everything's nice and tight here. And then lift. I don't want you lifting too high, okay? And down. So that's the exercise. Uh, so it's important to either progress this exercise, make it more challenging next week, or to regress the exercise. It's important that when you're doing these exercises that your tummy isn't bulging, okay? You can activate your core in like a, a bulging pattern. See, right now my tummy's bulging out, even though my TAs are activated. So you want to make sure that it's flattening down when it's engaged. And if you can't get it to flatten down in the exercise, it means that your TAs aren't strong enough yet. So you would regress the exercise. To regress this exercise, you keep your leg bent and then lift, okay? So you can say this is level one right here. Do, do, do. Level two, right here. Level three, lifting the leg higher, holding it, and then down would be an example for a level three. Okay, that's exercise one. Woohoo! That thing is game busted. It's gonna work awesome. All right, next one, we're gonna be doing a bird dog variation. So this is on all fours, okay? All fours, so your shoulders right over your wrist. And so traditional bird dog is where you extend one arm and one leg as I get the curtain <laughs> like this. But we don't want to start at that level yet because we really want to be focusing on engaging these inner core muscles. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like if I don't use my transverse abdominals. You're going to see my belly kind of sag down. Okay, so we're just going to be reaching forward with an arm. Okay, here's where I don't engage my TAs. So I can be doing this. If you can see my belly, like I am not engaging my core at all. And yet it's still kind of the same exercise. So this is what I talk about when you can just be going through the motions, not getting any results. Okay. So it's like, woohoo, here. Okay. Now here's the difference. So here we go. We go inhale, breathe out, exhale. See how tight, like drawn in my core is. I'm not sucking in. And then just lift that arm, then relax, inhale, exhale, flattening the tummy down, transverse abdominals are nice and tight, and reach forward, okay? Such a big difference, okay? And the strengthening comes from having to balance, okay? So how can you regress and progress this exercise? If you need to make it easier, if this is too hard, you can actually just start with breathing, so inhale, and then exhale, just checking everything. And then the next level would be to inhale, exhale, just lift a hand off. And then the next level is what we just did. Okay, so let's say you're noticing when you reach up that your belly's starting to bulge because your transverse abdominals aren't strong enough. That's when you want to go down to regress the extra bag. Maybe just do the lifts or do the breaths. Okay. 
And then if you want to go to level three, then you can. The next level, I would say, is to extend one leg. You know, the next week, then you could go to, you know, an arm and the opposite leg, just tapping. And then the week after that, or two weeks after that, you could progress it here. Okay, we just want to be, like I said, strategically progressing. So that's it, bird dog variation is the exercise. And then lastly, it's a side plank, okay? So it's gonna be a forearm side plank. Mm -hmm. You want your shoulder right over your elbow. Lots of times I'll see this, it's not good for your shoulder. Line that up. Okay, so here's a side plank. We're just gonna lift up and down where I'm not activated, okay? I'm not activating my TAs. I'm just going through the motions, like this is all squishy here. It's not going to get us the flattening tummy nest that we're going for. All right, so what do we do instead? Same thing, it's the inhale, and then exhale, engage the TAs, lift, make sure it's staying flat, and down, okay? Again, inhale, exhale, tighten the TAs, lift, and down okay so that's that's like the by far the most challenging one today so level one um is to just lift for a second and then down level two is to lift hold for two seconds and then you can just continue to lengthen per rep how many seconds you're holding if level one is still too hard, it's actually not even in the first uh, week of my diastasis rec program because it does take a lot of strength, then you can do it like on a bench, you can do it against a wall, or you can just be building up using other exercises and then incorporate that one later, okay? So, ah, yay, those are the three exercises, good, good stuff. Like I said, this type of thing would be incorporated into the program that's coming up on the 29th. I'll be happy, happy mom. Coming back to get you. All right. So what's the workout? Okay. How many of these should you be doing to be seeing results? How often? Okay. So we're just going to keep it really simple. Hello, Jamie. I haven't been able to look at who's here. Marsha, thank you, cute pants, thank you. They're like one of my favorites. I feel like they're in like all my pictures because I wear them all the time, but they're good. Uh, Fabletics, I will say like their high-waisted uh, leggings are awesome. Like I've tried a lot of leggings and these ones are my faves. Uh, let's see. So the workout, <clears throat> keeping it simple. It's those three exercises. You're going to do 10 reps each, so that ends up being per side, okay? 10 reps each, and then do that two times, okay? And then you're going to do that full workout two to three times a week, and that's going to start flattening your tummy, and it's going to look really great. The cool thing is, like, you're not going to break a sweat with this type of thing. It's something that you could just do on the floor in the evening or maybe on a lunch break. So, for example, so you get a very clear picture, it would be doing 10 leg lifts per side, do that twice in a row. So don't just go to the next exercise, do that same, so do 10 on the right leg, 10 on the left leg, 10 on the right leg, 10 on the left leg, then go to the next exercise. So the bird dog variation, and pick the level that you feel is challenging, but you can feel that your core is flat, your tummy's flat with it, okay? And then do those sides as as I just said, and that's the whole shebang. Tummy flattening for you, heck yes. Like, you will be amazed, because think about it. Have you done these types of exercises before? Have you done this type of engaging of the transverse abdominals before? I doubt it, I really, really doubt it, because it takes a lot of like mental, you know, thinking, um, and it's kind of hard to teach with just like, oh, do this exercise. There's so much like inner work. And so I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, I promise it gets like a lot easier. At first it feels really foreign. It's like, okay, 
Okay, so I'm activating these inner muscles. Okay, I'm breathing out. Okay, now I'm lifting. Like it feels like a lot. I remember that process so bad. You can probably like see my face. <laughs> okay, but it is so worth it. Okay, and the cool thing is that this creates a better core for your whole life. Okay, it's not like one of those things where you lose weight and then you gain it back. It's like once you learn this, you've got it. All right, it's a great investment in your health and in your body and in self-confidence and all the post babyness. All right, so much love to you. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow! I'm like trying to find what the topic is. There we go. Oh, we're talking about posture. So three simple posture cues to flatten your tummy and look 10 pounds lighter. Okay, and the cues are super simple. I'll give you a preview. We're gonna talk about string. We're gonna talk about, okay, string, stack, and shine. Just three simple things that you can check in on your body. I'm gonna teach you tomorrow so that it's like you feel so, like your posture is just so light and long and you, it's awesome. So excited to see you there. Much love, please say hi if you're on the replay. Uh, Felipe, hello. So I'm heading out, but I'm glad you're here. Samuel, hello. Oh, well, I'm just about to head out, but so much love. And catch this on the replay, and you'll get your full workout. All right, laters.